everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. This week we have something so exciting in store for you, but a little bit different to what we've previously done. Now the other week we saw on Facebook that a dairy down near the Lizard Peninsula called Trilegue Dairy has been doing some fantastic work avoiding plastics. They've got free range milk in glass bottles with screw top lids, they've got clotted cream in glass jars with screw top lids, and they've even got butter in greaseproof paper and foil. So we've been in contact with them and we're going to head down there now to meet Nigel from True League Dairy and have a little look around the dairy. So prepare yourself for a video montage with a lot of cows. <laughs> and Nigel at the dairy suggested one particularly beautiful beach so we're going to head down there now and show you guys that as well.
we've just got home and I have had the best day. What better way to spend my time than on the coast, in the countryside, in the sun, surrounded by these wonderful animals. It was so much fun. Now let's talk about what I've done today. So first of all, I'd like to address the controversy around dairy farms and veganism and I am pro-vegan. Obviously there are so many fantastic benefits of being a vegan but we cannot forget that people do and will continue to drink milk and use dairy products. So what we can do is highlight and promote the sustainable places that are trying to do their best around the issues. Like the Trilegue Dairy, these are free range cows and they're using a small scale process where they have glass bottles delivering locally and it's just brilliant. So we need to focus on encouraging and promoting these sustainable methods of the dairy industry. Okay, so now we need to talk about the other thing that this video has raised and this conversation has been going on for a long, long time and this is the discussion between what is the better option for milk. Is it glass bottles or is it plastic bottles? Now, the biggest argument here is the carbon footprint associated by using glass. Now, when you look at it as just one glass milk bottle that's only used once, then yes, it is more energy demanding than one plastic bottle. But the amazing thing about using glass is that it can, can continue to be used many, many times. In fact, glass is endlessly recyclable and most milk bottles now are comprised of about 35% recycled glass content. So there's a massive benefit there. Whereas in Cornwall, with our plastic recycling, we mix all of our plastic pots, tubs, trays and bottles together. They're all recycled together. So if you put a plastic milk bottle into your recycling, it will not be turned into another plastic milk bottle. Whereas many of these dairy farms are sending out their glass milk bottles locally, collecting them, reusing them as many times as they can, and then recycling them into another glass milk bottle. So that dramatically decreases the carbon and the energy needed for the glass and makes it a much more sustainable option. Something really great that Trilegue Dairy do is they've put a £1 deposit on their milk bottles and a 50p deposit on their glass jars for clotted cream. Now people might then argue, well, is using a glass milk bottle more expensive? But we once considered plastic to be this incredible cheap material but we're going to be paying for plastic for the price it's had on our environment for decades to come. Now to me, plastic becomes then the more expensive material because of that cost on the natural environment. Another big argument against using glass bottles for milk is the carbon emissions associated with the transportation. Now obviously glass is a heavier material than plastic, but what this video is trying to encourage is that you should be using your local dairy. These local dairies will have much less transportation costs and emissions associated with them than plastic bottles. So what we would suggest you do now is go online and see if you have a local dairy, a local milkman that does have milk in glass bottles and see if they've got any other products. They might have plastic free butter or clotted cream like Trilegue Dairy does. And of course, if you have any comments and you want to get involved in the discussion, please put them below. Thank you so much for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday. I'm going to go and have a cream tea now with Trilegue's Dairy's Clotted Cream. But of course, put the jam first.